people from 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 I'll just speak and I've seen a couple of the uh, commercials. I guess because fibromyalgia uh, picks different people and does different things to them. Um, I think I'm doing this now because I'm getting a lot of uh, people not thinking that I'm ill just because they look at me and say, oh, you look okay, you're just a little bit thicker than you used to be. Well, I'm probably a little heavier because... Um, well, I've been in bed since 2004. I believe I've had fibromyalgia my whole life. After I read Dr. St. Amand's book, I have every uh, diagnosed situation in that book. And I only read that two months ago, and now I'm doing his program where uh, you take a guaifenesin, and actually you get worse before you get better. And I'll tell you what, you do get worse, a lot worse. I would say I'm in bed probably five out of seven days. The one or two days that you feel good, it's like you just rush and you try to get everything done that you haven't done before. And I'm not talking like people climbing mountains and then they can't climb the next one. That's what I've heard. But I'm talking about uh, getting out of bed and washing your own hair. That's a big one for me. I'm talking about being able to go to the grocery store. Uh, when you go to the grocery store, it gets really confusing because there's lights and there's sounds and there's people and there's smells that you don't have when you're at home in your room where you're used to being. And i got to tell you, it's an amazing thing just to be able to go to the grocery store. I was amazed with myself when I was able to wash my own hair a few, months, or a few weeks ago. You know, people think they know what pain is, but pain is when... Every part of your body's hurting most of the time. With me, I used to be a, a conga drummer, so it's my hands and my wrists. And I've seen a lot of doctors, and I've heard some of the most outrageous bullshit things you'll ever hear in your life. Uh, I'll get to that stuff later. But someone that's never been in pain really has no idea. I mean, you get a little bit of sciatica, and it hurts. Well... Uh, that left side has hurt so much that I actually got a uh, hysterectomy I didn't need. I'm only 42 years old. I got it at 40. But, you know, the doctors rushed me into it. I was sick. And the thing that happens with your brain is what people don't understand is I was diagnosed with dementia and it scared the shit out of me because my grandma just got put into a nursing home with that. But uh, it's not really dementia except that you can't remember shit, but uh, it's dementia that, because your brain is so tired. You know, Dr. St. Amon said it so perfectly, your body is so tired, even your cells won't grow hair. I finally have some hair. This is the most hair I've probably had in five, six years. You know, and the worst part about it probably is I don't have any family. My family just doesn't get it. I even had a little sister, uh, she killed herself because she was in so much pain. And you know, if you go seek medical help and go on painkillers, somebody will say something about it. If you can't open the door for yourself, you know, people don't even fucking open the door for you. Just the amazing things that happen with this disease, I think when people look back on this in 2010 even, they're going to say, wow, I can't believe these people suffered through this. I'm in pain from not even the morning from when I wake up until I go to sleep because I never really sleep. Um, anytime I'm allowed to sleep, my body lets me sleep for a minute. Every time I wake up, the pain is so intense. I feel like I was just hit by a car and it's almost like I'm in shock. It's like the shock thing that happens. So I'm going to keep this one short because I have no idea what it's going to look like. But I'm going to keep putting them up there. And I've decided to do this because I don't want people to, uh, you know, treat me differently. But also, if I tell somebody I'm ill, I don't want them not to believe me. Because it can get you in legal trouble. It can get you in a lot of different trouble. But i got to tell you, here's just a few of the, the things. It first starts when you can't digest anything. Your stomach hurts all the time on the left side. You either have to go 
to the bathroom when you're at a red light, or you can't go for days without taking something that files up your system. The pain is like, okay, you've had a flu before, right? Okay, so this is the third day of your flu. You can't breathe. You can't think. Your body temperature goes from hot to cold, and you fucking hurt, and nobody believes you. Okay, that's what kind of it feels like. So the body temperature, you're sweating or you're cold, and it's just the pain. The pain. You wake up with it three, four times a night. So unless you have somebody that's supportive, it can be really difficult. I'm lucky enough that I do. But, you know, I did get in a legal problem because of this, which I'll go into further next round. But this is, uh, I hope somebody listens to it as helped by it. Um, I'm on my second month of treatment from Dr. St. Amon's book. I'm doing it myself. I would love to see the man in person because he's the first person that's given me any hope. My name is Michelle Sertonio, and trust me, i got a lot more to say on this subject and on logic from a high school dropout. What's happening with our country right now is just amazing. It's amazing how they accept us plebeians, our peons, us poor people, to do everything proper, but everybody in charge of has money just does whatever the hell they want. I'm tired of it, and I'm sick of it. And I could, you know, solve some of these problems a lot easier than these people, which I'm going to have a little 20-page uh, book that comes out called Logic from a High School Dropout. It's coming soon. And i got to tell you what, you got to vote, even though who knows what's going to happen. I voted, and uh, I don't believe Bush won the last two elections, but that son of a bitch idiot moron is still in there. And, you know, I think what's been the biggest problem beyond the war and beyond um, our financial situation and everything else is that other people with power are taking advantage of their power also. And you know who I'm talking to. Thank you. This is Michelle. I'll be back soon.